Hi everyone, this is the video. I'm going to talk about the integration of a triple function. And uh, for the uh, question that I'm going to discuss later, all the questions will be integrated by the triple identity, uh, by the uh, axis of uh, triple identity. So here, before we proceed to the tutorial, we try to recall back a, a three basic uh, trigger identity. The first one is a sine square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1. Second identity you just can derive from the first identity. By dividing this uh, first identity, if you divide the first identity by sine square, what you have? Alright, you have a sine square divided by sine square, you have 1. And uh, cos square divided by sine square, you have a cotangent, cotangent square. 1 over sine square, you have a cosecant square. So basically, this is your second identity. Alright? Using the first identity again, and divide every term by the cos square, you have your sine square over cos square, you have a tangent square. Cos square over cos square, you have 1. 1 divided by cos square, you have secant square. So it means that we are going to apply this uh, either one, uh, this three uh, trigger identity, in order to answer the question below. I got three examples here. Find the following integral. The first one is uh, integrating sine square over 1 minus cos x. For this question, we do not need to use uh, uh, what substitution or substitution may be fail. We just uh, need to know that this uh, sine square can be replaced by 1 minus cos square. And later on, 1 minus cos square, it can be factorized into 1 plus cos x multiplied by 1 minus cos x. divided by 1 minus cos x. How do I do this from here to here? I just apply this uh, formula. If you have a, a square minus b square, anything in terms of a square minus b square, we actually can factorize into a plus b, a minus b. Or maybe you will say you expand this, you will get your a square minus b square. So as if that the 1 is a 1 square, minus the cos square, that means uh, your a is 1 and the b is a cos square, uh, cos, then you, when, when you, uh, when you, uh, factorize, you have a 1 plus cos x, 1 minus cos x, that is your a plus b multiplied by a minus b. After you have factorized, you, you can clearly see that the 1 minus cos x can be cancelled off, and what you left is only you need to integrate 1 plus cos x. And integrate 1 plus cos x, you can integrate term by term. Integrate 1 with respect to x, you have x. Integrate cos, you have a positive sign x plus constant c. That's it. For the second example, I have a 1 over 1 minus cos square. So for this question, uh, it's uh, impossible for us to use substitution. So we might think of uh, using the identity because uh, 1 minus cos square can be replaced by 1 over sine square. Yeah? 1 minus cos square replaced by sine square. So I have 1, min 1 over sine square. Integrate 1 over sine square, we need to uh, uh, change the 1 minus sine square into cosecant square first. Alright? Integrating cosecant square x, we have the formula. You get your negative cotangent square. Uh, negative cotangent x plus c. Because uh, you differentiate, when you differentiate cotangent x, you have a negative cosecant square. Meaning that if you integrate cosecant square, you get back your cotangent. Don't forget the negative. You move over to this side, you have a negative cotangent x. Just like that. To integrate this function, secant square plus tangent square, I would like to change the tangent square or in terms of secant square. Why I do that? Because uh, we have a formula integrating secant square. We have a tangent. 
because when we differentiate tangent, we have a secant squared. So I have a basic formula, which is uh, integrating secant squared directly, you will get the tangent. So here I decide to change everything in terms of tangent, uh, sorry, in terms of secant. Using the identity that I circle, that I highlight here, 1 plus tangent square equals to secant square, which I have uh, derived from the first identity. Sine square plus cos square equals to 1. Eh? When you divide both sides of the first identity by the cos, you have a uh, 1 plus tangent square equals to secant square. So now, how can I change everything in terms of secant? The first term, just secant, just nice uh, to have a secant square. And the tangent square, I can uh, convert it into secant square minus 1 from this identity. Tangent square equals to secant square minus 1. So I change this tangent square in a secant square minus 1. And you can see now the secant square, uh, we have a like term. We can combine them. That it become the uh, 2 secant square x minus 1. Now you can integrate it term by term. Integrate the first term, the two always can copy down first. Integrating secant square, you will have tangent. Okay, according to the formula, is tangent. Then minus, integrate the 1 with respect to x, you get x. Plus constant c. So the end of this video. And uh, for the next video, I'm going to discuss about integrating sine square ax or integrating cos square ax. Alright, so I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.